never noticed it before. Nor have I. And I've hosted clinics at Qingsa Village many times in the past, if you ask me. Jiang Li was trying to remain unnoticed. Oh, that reminds Paimon. We meant to ask earlier, but it slipped our minds in the rush to get here. Could you tell us more about Jiang Li? You said she was your fellow disciple, right? She was indeed. We studied medicine together under the same master near Chen Yu Vale. She is several years older than I and also began her travels far earlier than me. As a result, the time I spent studying alongside her was rather short. Supposedly, she met an herb gatherer sometime during her travels and decided to settle down with him. That must have been Jia Liang. Wait, Changxiang, are you saying neither of you had actually met Jia Liang or Ayu before all of this? Jiang Li did occasionally come back to Chen Yu Vale to see our master, but for whatever reason, she hardly ever talked about her family. The last time she visited us, she and master had some sort of quarrel. We never heard from her after that. It almost seemed as if she'd gone into hiding. Quarrel? What happened? I don't know. I did not witness the argument myself. Nor did Master ever explain it to me. All he would say is that should I ever encounter Jiang Li or her family in the future, I should do everything in my power to help them. Oh, so that's why you went to such extreme lengths to help Jia Liang. No. Even if my Master had never said anything, it would still be my duty as a doctor to help him. My decision would have remained the same. You? Paimon always had you down as the sneaky scheming type. Sorry. Hmm. So a few words from me is enough to dispel all your suspicions? Hmm? You ought not be quite so quick to relax your guard, Paimon. Sometimes even the good guys have their own private agenda. What the? Okay, that was the most suspicious sounding thing you've ever said. <laughs> Let's leave the idle chatter there for now, hmm? Jiang Li has lived in this house for many years. There must be something here that can shed a little light on this whole situation. Let's split up. But if anyone finds anything, we'll examine it together. Changsheng and I found a hidden compartment. This is what was hidden inside. Ah, huh. you sense it too? You're right. This is a poison concocted using god remains. Uh, is it breathing? Paimon's not seeing things, is she? No. Your eyes do not deceive you. I do believe the poison in this bottle is... Alive. Some toxins act a lot like living organisms. I read about this once in The Origins and Symptoms of Diseases. 
This ancient class of poisons consists of mother and minor loads, capable of sustaining a connection over vast distances. If it's a concoction of this kind we're dealing with, then both the poison in Jia Liang's system and this one here are likely minor loads. Offshoots, essentially. Offshoots? So the main body is somewhere else? Correct. Whoever is administering the poison can manipulate the source to indirectly control the poisoned individual's behavior and even cognition. Similarly, the poisoned individual will hear, to a varying extent, the call of the source. The call of the... Wait, so back when Jia Liang ran off, maybe that explains where he was heading! Only one thing could have been drawing him there. The source of the god remains used as the poison's key ingredient. The mother load. Ugh, this is getting crazier and crazier. What kind of person would do all this just to poison Jia Liang? <clears throat> hey, why has everyone gone quiet all of a sudden? Since this poison was carefully hidden away in a secret compartment, the one who concocted it is likely a resident of the house. You mean, Jia Liang? Why would he poison himself? Think a little harder, Paimon. Someone else who lives here, and who might have expertise in crafting drugs. Huh? So you're saying... <gasps> it was Jiang Li? Wait, but... That doesn't make any sense either! Why would she poison her own husband? I agree. It makes little sense. Jiang Li does not strike me as the kind of person who would do such a thing. Look at the facts, though. How many people in the entirety of Li Yue have the ability to concoct a poison from God Remains? Hmm. It's too early to draw any conclusions. We should question Jia Liang about it once he has made more progress in his recovery. Yes. According to the origins and symptoms of diseases, the minor loads will disappear if the mother load is purged. So if we can find and destroy the source of these god remains, the poison will leave Jia Liang's system without the need for any further treatment. Do you know anything about god remains in Qingsa village? the history books have no record of this. The only ones who'll know anything are those old fogies who have been hanging around here since the beginning of time. Hmm. Didn't you used to be on good terms with the Adepti, though? You sure they didn't tell you anything about this? Well, uh... <clears throat> Changsheng's memories and powers are not what they were in her prime. These days, she has to enter a contract with a mortal and share their life force just to sustain her own life. I fear that such ancient events are long gone from her memory by now. Whoa, what? After a contract? Share life force? Sounds like some pretty spooky sorcery if you ask Paimon. Hey, plenty of people would jump at the chance to join forces with a powerful being like me. With my assistance in rebalancing your chi, not only can you extend your lifespan, but you will also be stronger, healthier, and able to eat whatever you like with no risk of upsetting your stomach. Stronger and healthier? Wow, that's amazing! Uh, Baiju, maybe when you retire, you can let Paimon sign a contract with Changsheng for a few days. <laughs> Unfortunately, Changsheng's contract has strict requirements regarding the host's temperament. None of her hosts have ever been exempted from these rules. I fear that I will be unable to accommodate your wishes, Paimon. Temperament? Uh, hey! What are you trying to say? Did you just subtly insult Paimon to her face? Ugh! Paimon's mad! You're getting ugly nicknames, both of you! Baiju, you're... Mannequin Man! 
attention! You're just a pain in the neck! This is exactly why your natural temperament makes you woefully unsuited to being my host. All right, everybody, calm down. Back to the matter at hand. Is there any way at all for us to seek counsel from the Adepti about this? Huh. With how antisocial they are? If it were up to them, they'd go their whole lives without showing their faces to the common folk. What? <laughs> Seems you're as well connected as they say, Traveler. We are truly fortunate to have you on our side. Oh, if you're talking about who Paimon thinks you're talking about, you better do the honors. You called? Ah! Ugh, gets Paimon every time. Ugh. Adepti in the habit of materializing out of thin air like this? Well, this is unexpected. Huh? It's you. Baiju of Boo Boo Pharmacy. I do believe I've had the pleasure before. The Lantern Rite, when we met briefly, I was unaware of your true identity. I must apologize for the discourtesy. Huh? You two already know each other? Our paths have crossed once before. I sense the presence of evil spirits. Is this why you called me? <sighs> so someone has been concocting demonic poison. Too often, fervent desires drive mortals to abandon all regard for their own safety. It is lamentable. I now know what you seek. It is true that a god's remains are buried beneath the foundations of Chinksa village. A vile monster known as the Chu once wrought havoc over this land, before it was subdued by Rex Lapis. The land was finally cleansed of poison when Rex Lapis used statues in his likeness to seal the serpent's remains. Chinksa village was founded some time after that. The seal is still mostly intact. If the Chu is the source, then it must be some of its blood leaking from deep underground. However, its aura is faint and barely detectable. You will need to investigate further to identify the location of the leak. I do not like to intervene against mortals unless absolutely necessary. But when demonic forces are involved, Things can spiral out of control. If that happens, be sure to call my name again. Hmm. Hmm? Nothing. I do not wish to sway decisions that are mortals to make, but immortality may not be the blessing that you imagine it to be. I shall treasure your words of instruction, Master Adeptus. Farewell. What a strange Adeptus. Rather different from the way I remember them. That's you for ya! And thanks to him, we finally got some concrete info to go off of. If the god remains are leaking from underground, Jiang Li must be paying a visit to a subterranean cave on her herb gathering trips. Hmm. If we can find the cave. Ma master Master, there's a problem. Gray? Did you run all the way from Boo Boo Pharmacy? What happened? Don't panic. Just catch your breath and tell me everything. It's it's Jialyang. He was he was fine one minute and then he suddenly took a turn for the worse. Already? How? Based on past experience. He should have been fine for the next three days, at least. It seems that my worst fears have been confirmed. Everyone, back to Boo Boo Pharmacy now!
What's wrong? Dad? <laughs> Don't be scared. Dr. Baishu will be back soon. How is he doing? Dr. Baishu, you're back! My dad was doing fine earlier, but then he suddenly started coughing up blood. Now he can't even get a full word out anymore. When Gui left, he was still conscious, but now... Gui, please take Jia Liang to the back room and prepare for treatment. Yes, of course. Don't worry, Ayu. I will cure your father. Baishu's not gonna use Chang Sheng's secret art again, is he? Is there really no other way to save Jia Liang? How are you feeling, Dad? Are you still hurting anywhere? You're not gonna suddenly collapse again, are you? Ah, much better, Ayu. I'm feeling much better. In fact, I, I can't explain it, but somehow I feel even better than usual. Hmm... W wait where's Dr. Baiju? I still haven't had a chance to thank him. Seems he moved me here before I came too. Master said he needed to take a quick rest and asked me to bring you out of the treatment room. He hasn't emerged yet, so he must still be resting. Oh, really? Well, he must be tired from treating me for two nights in a row. <sighs> I don't know how I can begin to repay him for saving my life. I'll have to discuss it properly with Jiang Li once we find her. Hmm. Speaking of which, uh, has there been any word of her whereabouts yet? No, the Adventurer's Guild hasn't gotten back to me yet. I'll go check with them again in a bit. I'll come with... <sighs> Don't forget what Master said. You're still not out of the woods yet, Jia Liang. I strongly suggest that you stay and rest at Boo Boo Pharmacy for now. I can accompany Ayu to the Adventures Guild. <sighs> I suppose you're right. I'll have to rely on you this time. Though, on the bright side, this means I can thank Dr. Baiju in person once he's finished resting. Traveler, Baiju hasn't shown his face ever since he went in to treat Tia Liang again. Do you think he... Huh? You're finally awake? <sighs> that was far too risky. Even with me here to help you balance your chi. There was no time. I had no other choice. In any case, it was not completely without benefit to myself. I managed to learn something. Jiang Li's design is quite brilliant. She makes numerous innovations that I can learn from. Alas, if only there wasn't a catch. So, how much longer do you think Baishu's gonna nap for? They've been outside waiting for you the whole time while you were asleep. Shall we at least go and show our faces? <sighs> All right. Surely he hasn't. There's no way he could have just... Who's talking behind our backs again? Ah! Baishu! Changsheng! 
Of course. There's no need to be concerned. I merely had to transfer a rather large amount of life force on this occasion. But, with Changsheng's help, I will recover in time. Jiao Yang seemed fine yesterday. Why did he need more life-saving treatment again so soon? I... made an error in my initial diagnosis. Jia Liang is in fact suffering from more than one ailment, and as a result, his life force depleted at a greater rate than I had anticipated. What? You mean, even if you got all the poison out of him, he'd still be sick? Yes. But more pertinently, the poison in Jia Liang's system is there precisely because it is being used to manage his underlying medical condition. Jia Liang has a rare congenital heart condition, and ongoing treatment is essential to maintaining healthy functioning of his heart meridian. Left untreated, it puts the patient at risk of coughing up blood and fainting, and in the longer term, causes irreversible damage to the internal organs. Though it was created from god remains, this formula is not a poison in Jia Liang's case. Rather, it's his medication. Had he not taken it all these years, he likely would have died a long time ago. Still, using poison to treat a disease is hardly a viable long-term solution. As time passed, and the poison accumulated in his system, it began to impact his cognition. Moreover, the longer he relied upon this medicine, the more resistant his body became to it. Jiang Li had to concoct ever greater quantities to ensure its continued efficacy, or he could have still perished at any moment. That explains why Ayu said his dad has been giving worse, and why his mom went off to gather herbs. God remains are extremely dangerous to be around, because humans have no natural defense against them. I shudder to think how many times Jiang Li has exposed herself to them. I fear that the situation is just as that adeptus described. In an effort to save Jia Liang's life, Jiang Li has abandoned all regard for her own safety. I never suspected that even Jiang Li would turn to the same path as so many others over the years. Perhaps this is the inevitable course of fate. To sacrifice one's own life to save others. To go beyond human means in order to do the impossible. Whatever the cost may be. Well, I think that it's too early to say with any certainty what fate has in mind. In any case, I have stabilized Jia Liang's condition for now. So our immediate priority should be to get ourselves back to Qingsa village and find out where Jiang Li is. Her regular exposure to God Remains over such a long period will have been catastrophic for her health. And given that she's already been missing for several days, I am fearing the worst. It's me, Traveler, Dr. Baiju. Everything already. Dr. Baiju, please let me come with you. You've already done so much for my family. I can no longer just sit here and watch while you put yourself at risk for Jiang Li's sake. After all, if it wasn't for me, she wouldn't have had to put herself in harm's way in the first place. I know I won't be of much help in battle, but at the very least, I can show you the way. I'm sure I'll be able to remember. I know there's a spot where she says goodbye to me every time she goes to gather her herbs. I'm sure I'll remember. I, I have to remember. <coughs> be careful. If you get too agitated, your blood pressure and stress levels will rise, putting further pressure on your heart. For your own safety, you should stay here and rest. No! 
We're out of time. We have to go now. Right now. Before I forget everything again. Hmm. This trip will be extremely dangerous, and there is a very real possibility that you will not return from it. Are you sure you're prepared for that? <laughs> I never expected to live this long in the first place. My death is already long overdue, so why should I fear it? There's only one thing I fear now, and that's that I'll forget her again before we manage to find her. Very well. Then follow me. Dr. Baiju? Are you heading out again? Yes. This could be a long one. Could you please prepare a dose of the usual formula? Please add an extra measure of mistgrass pollen and one dose each of the ingredients from the third and fifth compartments of my medicine cabinet. I hope it works. Uh, Dr. Baishu? Do you mean... Hop to it now. And remember to be careful with the cauldron this time. You don't want to burn yourself again. Okay. 